right? So you see on Monday, we sold however many gallons of regular unleaded and super unleaded. And then in B is how much I sell it for and how much profit I get off the different types. First one, part A, here we go. Calculate A times B. All right, calculate A, matrix A times matrix B. So let me go through that again. I would recommend, I'm going to do this right now, and I would recommend the same thing for you guys. You guys are so used to being right next to each other instead of one on top, one on the bottom, like I wrote them in your notes. All right, so go ahead and just recopy matrix B then. So they're right next to each other. I feel you guys are more comfortable doing it that way. Could you zoom in a little, please? Say that again, Caroline. Could you zoom in a little, please? What do you mean, zoom in? Like, you know, like that. I can't see the whole screen, really. Uh, do you want to change your settings? So. Well, if I look close, I can. I just don't know. I just don't know what you were talking about there. Like when you in the top right, like that's fit. Can you do like a hundred percent? Oh, you want? Okay, I got you. I got you. I got you. Never mind. Okay, I got you. Sorry. Thanks. Uh, that do, I I don't think that did any good, did it? The hundred percent. No, it's worse. Yeah, I thought so. Uh, any better? Yeah, that's better. Two hundred. How about a little four hundred? Oh, I don't think I want to go there. Oh no. How about just a little two hundo? Yeah, that's good. Okay, good. Yep. Okay, so I rewrote it. You guys know you got to figure out what type of uh, matrix you're gonna your answer, how big it is. So re refresh your memory here. Matrix A is a three by three. Matrix B is a three by two. Yes, the inside numbers match, so that means I can multiply. And that means my ending matrix should be a three by two now. My answer should be a three by two matrix. So I'm gonna set it up here. Three rows, two columns. Before, but guys, hold on. Now that we're doing a word problem, before I start multiplying, what I need you to do is what do my rows represent and what do my columns represent? All right? I need you to know what the rows are going to be and the columns based on matrix A and B. So take a look. What we're going to do, how do we multiply? We multiply row. So look at what the rows are, the days of the week, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. So that's what the rows in your answers are going to represent. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. Row times column in the second one. So that tells me matrix B. Look at matrix B. What are the columns in matrix B? Selling price and profit. You guys got to understand what the rows and columns mean when you do these word problems. So the rows in matrix A were the days of the week. The columns in matrix B were selling price and profit. Here we go now. Let's multiply. Ready? 240 times $1.80 plus 300 times $1.90 plus 160 times $2. Remember, that's how we multiply. I'll do one more with you and then I'll let you go. So now do row one, column two. Row one, column two. 240, but now you're gonna multiply it by 30 cents, 0.3 plus 300, but now times 0.34, plus 160, times 0.38. All right, I'll let you guys go through right now. I'll give you about five, six minutes to finish your matrix and see if we match at the end. Now you guys should be going to row two, column one.
All right, I'm going to start writing in my values just to make sure we match here. Hopefully you guys aren't having too many problems. So here's what I get with A times B, Okay, make sure you guys at home here take a quick quick peek, make sure we're matching before I answer part B. If you want to see where a number came from, let me know. I'll show you the mat the multiplication and addition for it. Or maybe I might be wrong, but I don't, I'll be honest, I don't think so on this one. I won't tell you why, but. Everyone at home, okay, before I go on, to, I want to make sure we're all good before we answer part B, because this is the new stuff for today. What's the gas station's profit Monday through Wednesday? So this is why it's important to know what your rows and columns mean. Remember column one in matrix B was selling price. Column two was the profit. Okay, so this is what we want here. We want column two and it says Monday through Wednesday. So everything in column two added up. Everything in column two added up because the, remember the days of the week are over here on your rows, Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday. So your profit, 234.8 plus 223.6 plus 259.4. So our profit, and it is money, remember, so make sure you add a zero at the end of your number there. $717.80 for profit. Any questions there before we get to the last one? All right, one more. Same thing. First matrix is uh, looks like Republican, Democrat, Independent. What percent of age groups are for them? And then matrix B is based on your age, uh, how many males and females there are. Again, I'm gonna do the same thing. I like to have my matrix, matrices right next to each other. There you go. Figure out before you multiply, before you multiply and figure out what type you should get, how big should it be? Uh, I got a three by three in matrix A. And I got a three by two in matrix B. So I should end up with uh, another three by two here. You should end up with another three by two. So if you want to set that up, go ahead. Before you multiply, what do your rows mean and what's your columns mean again, all right? Rows in row a, in matrix A, the rows are Republican, Democrat, Independent. So that's what your rows are gonna be here. And your columns are gonna be the same columns in matrix B, male, female. Okay, male, female. All right, I, I'm not. I'm going to stop talking. I'll just fill in a couple lines of my own, just in case you get stuck and you want to see what I'm adding and multiplying together. A 
row times column. Okay, you guys can see up on your screen that uh, what I ended up with, with my three by two, with all those numbers. And then from there, again, this is why it's important to know what your rows and columns mean. Part B, how many female Democrats? Well, female was in my second column and Democrats were in my second row. So I got to figure out where they meet. Row two, column two, they meet at 14,800. And same thing goes for question C, how many male Republicans? Male in the first column, Republicans in the first row. So row one, column one, 15,800. And any questions there? Because that's going to be a wrap here for today anyway. Tomorrow, no Delta math, it's out of the packet. Two questions out of the packet. Tomorrow, you'll take a picture and submit it. Wednesday, quiz only on multiplying and one word problem. All right, I'll see you guys tomorrow then for the assignment. Have a good night. Bye, Bye guys.